Behind barbed wire on Salisbury Plain sits the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory. Government sponsored, its staff tasked with cutting edge research, science that can help defend the nation. High security attached to the MOD, DSTL has always been shrouded with a certain level of mystery. But what really happens here? We've been invited behind the scenes to take a look. Research has taken place at Port and Down Science Park for more than a century, but the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory was only officially formed in 2001. Customers include the MOD and Home Office, government departments that have spent more than £600 million between them here last year, with capabilities including counter-terrorism and cybersecurity, identities are protected and filming very restricted. The work done here is at the forefront of research and development for national security and defence. The men and women here doing science that no one else can do. And at times of national crisis, they really come into their own. From designing the V-shaped hull of the Foxhound to reduce deaths in Iraq and Afghanistan, to analysis of the explosives used in the Manchester Arena terror attack, and even the decontamination of Salisbury after the Novichok nerve agent incident, DSTL scientists are primed to respond to any catastrophe. And with their experience of investigating the makeup and behaviour of dangerous pathogens, that includes COVID-19. Professor Tim has worked on chemical, biological and radiological cases for more than 20 years. He took us into the corridor at the heart of their work on coronavirus. This is where we're handling pathogens such as plague, um, anthrax uh, and the virus that causes COVID-19 currently. So um, obviously we're very careful, these are dangerous pathogens and so we have a number of systems uh, that allow us to handle those safely and to make sure that the environment is protected from those uh, pathogens. The labs are held under negative air pressure to prevent anything leaving them that shouldn't. 80 microbiologists work in this arm of DSTL alone. And you can see quite, quite a big capability here, so um, probably one of the biggest capabilities in terms of handling dangerous pathogens in the United Kingdom, um, and that makes us uh, reasonably unique. And this facility here specifically is the one where we are currently doing the experiments with COVID-19. Scientists are necessarily cautious with the virus. COVID-19 cultures are handled in sealed glove boxes. DSTL's teams are searching for knowledge on the pathogen and their findings are key to the nation moving through this pandemic. We're doing a variety of, of tests, but really they centre around characterising the virus itself um, and understanding how it behaves uh, when it's aerosolised, um, how it behaves, for example, when it deposits on surfaces, how long does it survive, what's the effect of light, what's the effect of humidity. That sort of information is used, for example, um, in modelling uh, that SAGE used to determine and advise what the government response will be going forwards. With the government increasing the number of COVID-19 tests over the last few months, DSTL staff were deployed across the country to help meet demand. Emma was one of them. It's a totally different kind of pressure. The turnaround time that they managed to achieve is phenomenal, um, especially considering the amount of samples they're getting in. And it's really pushing, I think, um, science as an industry to their limits to develop all these new uh, ways of working and new tests and, and to kind of keep um, evolving to meet the demands that the country needs. Protecting frontline workers has formed another big part of DSTL's work since the pandemic began. When ambulance services reported decontamination of their vehicles taking too long, staff designed a new way to cut times down to just minutes. And when the country faced a national shortage of the bitter and sweet tasting sprays needed to test the fit of face masks, the labs found a way to plug the gap overnight. It's not particularly difficult chemistry, if I may, um, but it's something that we're not used to doing here and we had to establish a capability uh, very quickly indeed in order to produce these, um, produce these solutions in extremis. So I, if I was working with somebody with COVID-19, would put this on, tighten up the straps, make sure that everything's in fitting properly. And then that solution, if I could taste it, it would mean that there was an issue with this fit. Yes. And we, to date, have manufactured about 21,000 units uh, of fit test solution. And I'm 
reliably told that those solutions have enabled capabilities like the London Nightingale Hospital um, to become operational. Reacting to national crises is just one arm of DSTL. The labs plan for the future too. Their staff are pushing boundaries in robotics and autonomy, constantly looking for ways to improve safety for both the public and the military. Our job is to think out of the box. What can the technology do for the future warfighter and how do we counter that really dangerous, uncertain world? There are lots of things that we can't talk very publicly about because of the classified nature of the work. But by the same token, there are a bunch of things that we are doing that we, we can share and we can talk about and we're, we're trying to do so so that people understand the role we play significantly at the heart of defence and, and securing the nation's future. Defending maritime assets against things like a fast and short patrol craft threat um, or um, unmanned air systems. We have un unmanned air systems operational now and we have had for a while. Um, what's the next generation of those? But also for the army, how do we get supplies right down to the front line in combat situations, for example, which is quite a dangerous mission um, for the future. With a string of national crises raising DSTL's profile of late, new buildings being built, expertise being harnessed by the government, the work of these labs looks set to remain in demand.